compound meter long steel and that cross sectional area of aluminum bar is twice that of the steel bar full stop the rod is subjected to an axial tensile load of 200 kN full stop if the elongation of aluminum and steel parts are equal find the length of the two parts of the compound bar take e for steel as 200 gpa and e for aluminum as one third of e for steel so far it will be given l is equal to 1.5 meter 1.5 meter then cross sectional area of aluminum that is a a the cross sectional area of aluminum we consider it is a it is twice of twice of twice of cross sectional area of steel bar okay twice of cross sectional area of steel bar then rod is subjected to tensile load of so p it is given p is equal to 200 kilo newton p is equal to 200 kilo newton okay then next one it is the elongation of aluminum steel bars are equal okay that is mean delta delta l a that is elongation of aluminum bar is equal to elongation of aluminum bar elongation of steel bar okay so this one it will be equal this one it is given data in that given data okay so next one it will be given what then next find the two parts find the length of the two parts of compound bar this is what they are told the question it is la is equal to question mark la is equal to question mark and length of steel bar is the next one it is be given modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity it is also given We'll write down here so modulus of elasticity of steel it is given es is equal to 200 gpa 200 gpa to convert it is in newton per mm square 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 in newton per mm square it will be get in newton per mm square newton per mm square okay then ea it will be given a is equal to a is equal to one third of es one third of es so this one it is given in example okay so 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 200 into 10 to the power 3 100 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 it will be getting newton per mm square 10 plus of elasticity of element 100 one third of into 400 it will be 66.67 66.67 into 10 to the power or 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square okay so this data it is q1 okay so first of all calculate the elongation 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 for aluminium for aluminium aluminium that is will be means a b a b bar for a b bar okay so a b bar it will be aluminum you can calculate delta l a is equal to delta l a is equal to delta l a aluminum change in length so change in length formula it is p l divided by a so p l l a divided by a divided by a e divided by a area of aluminum into area of it uh, modulus of elasticity of aluminum so p it will be we know that it is 200 kilo newton 200 kilo newton converted is in newton multiplied by 10 raised to 3 into la it is unknown divided by divided by divided by a it is 2 by as 2 into as a two into as then ea it will be how much ea it will be 56.673 so we will get delta la is equal to delta la is equal to in terms of in terms of la by as in terms of la by as we will get so just calculate this one we will get is equal to 400 into 400 into 10 to the power 3 
divided by 2 into 66.67 into 10 to the power 3. That will be 1.55. 1. 1.499 LA by AS. 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 So this one it is equation number one. Right on this one it is equation number one. The next it will be calculated. Okay, next it will be elongation of elongation of elongation of elongation for steel for steel or BC member or BC member BC member okay BC member okay for BC okay. This number. Okay. So that why for that delta L S is equal to delta L S is equal to delta L S is equal to P divided by P L P into L S divided by divided by divided by A S into P L into P L. Put all these value here. Is equal to so P it is 200 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 10 raised to the power 3 into unless it is unknown divided by divided by <coughs> AS AS into so yes it is 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 so 200 into 10 to the power 3, which will get cancelled. So delta LS is equal to delta LS is equal to delta LS is equal to LS by AS. 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 So now now calculate this one is P into L. So now equate 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 delta L S to delta L S. Delta L A to delta L S. Equate delta L A equal to Delta L A to delta L S. Delta L S. So because in example they are mentioned that the change in length if the elongation of aluminum steel bar parts are equal here. If the elongation of the aluminum and steel parts are equal, that's why we are equate here. Okay. So delta L A it will be how much delta L A it will be? It will be 1.499. 1. 1 it is ls by sorry la by as la by la by la by as is equal to delta ls it will be ls by as ls by as ls by as so as it will be get cancelled AS, AS will get cancelled. It will get this equation. LS is equal to 1.499 LA. So LS is equal to 1.499 LA. So total length is equal to, we know that total length is equal to LA plus LS. LA plus LS. 
LA plus LF. LA plus LS. So now write on. So total length will know that 1.5 meter is equal to. So LA is equal. LS is equal to. LA plus LS is equal to 1.499 LA. 1.499 LA. Will we get LA value from? Will we get LA value from? So LA is equal to will we get LA is equal to 1.5 divided by 1 plus 1.499. It will be 0 0.6 meter, 0 0.6 meter. That will be in mm, 600 mm. Okay. But LS is equal to, LS is equal to 1.499 into LA A is equal to 1.4, 1.499. So LA it will be 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So 1.4 into 1.499 so it will be 0 0.88 0 0.899 means 0 0.9 meter is equal to 0 0.9 meter okay so if we get in mm ls is equal to 9000 mm 9000 mm okay so this one it is length of <coughs> so length of la it will be length of la it will be 0 0.6 meter 0.6 meter, 0.6 meter, and length of length of LA will be 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So this one it is question is that to calculate the length of aluminum and steel wire. So here. 